Most of us have heard the tales of the sea, the mythical creatures that live under the ocean's surface, filling our hearts with joy and memories that follow us into adulthood. I'm sure you've heard the story about the little mermaid that made a deal with the sea witch. But as some of you know, the real story behind this was way more gruesome than what movies taught you. That makes one wonder what other forces lurk in the abyss. Dare you get too close? Okay, Ethics Lovers, let's get started. We need some homemade scar wax that we are going to roll up as a sausage and we are going to adjust it to our face. This is our main tentacle mustache. Now, flatten it down with the help of some Vaseline and shape it as you want. Essential is always liquid latex and I need some help with that, I'm not strong enough. Use a brush to brush over a simple coat of latex on your mustache. Roll up the smaller sausages that are supposed to be our tentacle beard. Then we put some foundation into the liquid latex and we are going to add some flour to thicken it up a bit. Now we need some steel thread to shape our mustache. <laughs> Use the residue of the bowl to cover the holes and try to shape it as best as you can. Now, powder your face and apply spirit gum, which is basically skin glue that you need to stick your mustache to your face with. Just tap, 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 and you're good to go. More latex, cotton, and we are going to shape the rest of the mouthpiece like this. Just smooth it out. Make sure you dip your fingers in latex so it doesn't stick. Blow dry to dry it even faster. Try and be exact when you're doing this so you don't get any scrunches or something. Oh, some finger! <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna build it up even more to get those cheekbones and try and smooth out as best as you can. I can't stress this enough because that will look best in photos. We have to cover the entire nose to get that squiddish feeling and... Well, as I said, I'm just gonna keep building it up. Now it's dry, so we are going to apply the small tentacles with a layer of latex just to make it easy. And now the hard part comes, because we have to cover this up without making it stick to the prosthetic on top. This should actually have been done at first, but well, yeah, <laughs> I'm not really a furrow planner. Mat it down with powder, because now we are going to add some paint. This is a grease paint that I've been applying all over my face. I figured that it didn't really work, so I tried a foundation instead, just to blend it out best as I can. Met it down and start with colors mix up as best as you can and use a toothbrush to spray it on like i do here this is the best way to even out and you won't see the edges of the prosthetics that well just keep on building up add more colors of your choice i chose to uh, cover up and try and highlight and do some contouring i don't think i can ever get a t-shirt thin again <laughs> Just dab on lightly the colors of your choice. This is actually pretty individual for whatever colors that we like. I chose the color that I wanted. I even wanted some contouring, some highlights, so I chose from that. I've never really been good at beauty makeup, but I at least I did a try when it came to the eye makeup because I decided that I wanted to combine it with something, you know, uh, sort of pretty. <laughs> There was some trying and failing, and I ended up with the colors that I like the most. I even have a teeny tiny session here with some liquid liners that I got from NYX, actually. Thank you so much. And now I have been also applying a blue eyeliner because I like that a lot. And here is the eyeliners from NYX that I mentioned. They are super awesome, but I found out that I didn't like it for this look, so I covered over it. Again, this is a, to completely individual. If you want to use it for your look, just go ahead. Of course we need some lashes and 
I kept some of the dots actually. Added some more black eyeliner, more dramatic brows, even some highlighter, and I think we're finished, guys. Remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and bell me.